manager of the Trace Organics Group. Extractables and leachables are connected. So the extractables, we're looking at a very aggressive situation of what could come out of a primary packaging container. A leachable is what actually does come out of the container and leaches into the finished product. An extractable study is an aggressive extraction that's performed on the primary packaging. So we do a couple things. The first is that we select solvent systems that are appropriate uh, to help understand the characteristics and nature of the material itself. We customize every one of our extractable studies to meet the most relevant regulatory guidelines for the individual client. That can be the USP General Chapter 1663 and 1664, it can be BPOG, it could be PQRI, it could be ISO, it could be any number of different guidance or regulatory documents that are available currently in the industry. Find a way to perform an extraction of the sample in a way that the material itself is not compromised physically, meaning we don't want to dissolve the entire packaging material, but still sufficiently aggressive that we can extract out anything that would be of interest. So we want to extract that, collect that extract, and then we want to analyze the extract by a number of hyphenated advanced techniques so we can understand both the elemental impurities as well as the organic impurities that are present in these solutions. A number of the extraction techniques that are used are still classical approaches. So people are using either reflux or soxalate, and these are very labor-intensive, time-intensive, require use of a large amount of solvents, and it's often challenging to actually reproduce the extractable that you have. So you can imagine if the temperature has changed slightly or the rate of reflux has changed slightly, that that will then impact the concentration of the extractables that are present in a solution. So trying to control those parameters is challenging. So we've invested in automated systems to ensure that we can provide the highest quality data for our regulatory submissions. For the solvent-based approaches, we purchased a thermoscientific Dionics ASE 350 accelerated solvent extractor. This provides a good complement or additional extraction capability compared to the traditional soxalate. So we're able to control time and temperature much more closely. We can put on over 20 samples at a time, spend about an hour of investment, and expect that we'd come back at the end of the day or the next day and all those extractions would be performed correctly and adequately. The accelerated solvent extractor allows an analyst to set up an extraction at any point in time during the day. It can be run unattended, so they can go home during, at, at some point in time and, and let it continue with the experiment. The ACE350 allows us to perform a range of solvents, including both aqueous and organic. Obviously that means it minimizes the amount of time it takes to perform the entire extraction process for a sample and allows us with one instrument to do both aqueous and organic. The system is controlled by thermoscientific chromillion software. The software allows a, a couple of key advantages over traditional approaches to solvent-based extractions. We have both methods and sequences that are stored and maintained. What that means is we can at any time call up the actual method conditions that were used to prepare an extract. Um, we have real-time data logging so we know if anything uh, goes outside of the programmed conditions. And we also have audit trails and user auth authentication to understand who did the work, when they did it, and if they added any comments that were particular to that particular experiment. The first thing I think of when I see the ACE350 is both performance and reliability. So it has allowed us to move away from very traditional approaches to solvent-based preparations. It has done so and allows us to do so in a very efficient manner, and the performance allows us to have confidence in the extracts that we generate.